I don't really want to shout out my real name. But I want to tell you a story of one of the classic Disney movies of all time that has been out since 1950. It was a film that everyone has seen as a kid. And that was Walt Disney's Cinderella. Uh, This was the second film that helped Walt Disney have a successful career. Uh, Last time when he lost money, when Fantasia bombed at the box office, uh, he made Dumbo in 1941. But Cinderella was a good movie, along with other family films, such as Shrek, uh, Toy Story, Aladdin, Hercules, Mulan, Lilo and Stitch, The Iron Giant, Tarzan, Prince of Egypt, Lion King, Tangled, Frozen, you know, many others. I have been watching this movie nonstop to this day, as Cinderella was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I'm 19 years old now, and uh, I'm male, but I like the Disney princesses just for the plushies and the movies that they came from, which means I'm a Disney himsess. Uh, It's the Disney princess equivalent of bronies. (laughs) Uh, I've been collecting this kind of stuff for years, but what I heard from people on Facebook was that there was this violent version of Walt Disney's Cinderella, dubbed simply Cinderella 1947 version. Uh, The next day I got home from college to see a bunch of notifications from the people in my Cinderella group. I never checked my group notifications often because uh, I was too busy with many other things in my life. There was something that someone posted about 20 minutes ago, reading, I know why Cinderella was not released in 1947 and was never made public until 1950. It was because, number one, In the 1940s, ever since World War II, Walt Disney was only focusing on package films, like uh, Saludos Amigos, The Three Caballeros, Make Mine Music, Fun and Fancy Free, Melody Time, and The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Number two, this version of Cinderella was very violent, and the abuse that Cinderella goes through was very scary for children. Just like the way Dumbo was made fun of for having big ears, or, or Mrs. Jumbo losing her temper because a snotty boy blew into Dumbo's ear. I scrolled more and more through the group posts. Someone also said that Cinderella gets spanked, beaten, and cursed at. I had no clue on what they were talking about, so I simply posted to my group stating that I was going to a garage sale in Anaheim, California this weekend, and that... If I found anything related to Cinderella, the people in my group promptly stated, uh, well, I hope you find something you like, or that you don't have. The next day was Saturday, around 9am. I drove in my car around to find a garage sale which was hosted by a young couple. The woman was in her late 20s, while the man was in his early 30s. And even though it looked boring enough, Maybe my luck would find anything with Cinderella-related things in a garage sale. So I parked my car and greeted the couple as they greeted me back. I looked around a bit, but I didn't find anything but some old movies. Until I did happen to see a DVD cover of Walt Disney's Cinderella. Cinderella was wearing a torn-up dress, and and she had a depressed frown on her face. I asked them, this version looks unique, why is that? The woman told me that it was the 1947 version that her father worked on, but that Walt Disney fired him for it. I asked why he got fired, and her husband told me that it was none of my business. So, I decided to buy the DVD. I went back to my hotel room, turned on my laptop, and put the DVD in. I wanted to find out why. The Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo with the blue night sky played like normal, 
but the trailers were missing. The menu was blank, only having play and set up icons. I pressed play, the Disney DVD logo played, but uh, Tinkerbell was noticeably missing. The opening credits played, but the opening song was slowed down. We cut to the storybook where Betty Lou Gerson narrates, but her voice is absent. We see a young Cinderella with her father, and we see Lady Tremaine looking down at them from a window, along with young Anastasia and Drizella. She says to them, This foolish man cares about little Cinderella rather than us. Now, she was still voiced by Eleanor Audley, but she sounds like she stepped out of an insane asylum. The scene fades out. We see Cinderella's father sitting on a chair, and Lady Tremaine walks up and stabs him in the back. We cut to a young Cinderella weeping at her father's cadaver. Drizella comes in and punches her in the gut. I felt uneasy. The, the scene cuts to a 19-year-old Cinderella waking up as she's singing, A dream is a wish your makes. But it sounded like Eileen Woods was either tired or depressed. It cuts her entering Lady Tremaine's room. Lucifer was laying on his little bed, but he didn't look as if Ward Kimball designed him. He looked more menacing. Looked like a cartoonish demon cat from a 1930s cartoon. He woke up and yawned. She went to the kitchen, and she greets her bloodhound named Bruno. Lucifer walks in and attacks him by scratching him. Cinderella sees this and scolds Lucifer. Lucifer, don't do that. He did nothing to you. She begins to serve Anastasia, Drizella, and Lady Tremaine. Anastasia and Drizella panic because a mouse was in the mug. Cinderella walks into Lady Tremaine's room and serves her breakfast, and Tremaine tells Cinderella to clean up the house. But she refused. Lady Tremaine says, If you don't clean up the house, you will be beaten. Now, I thought Walt Disney made family films, not psychological thrillers. Luckily, the scene with the king and the Grand Duke resembled the 1950s version. The song Sweet Nightingale scene played as Lady Tremaine plays the piano. Anastasia plays the flute, and Drizella sings as Lucifer gets annoyed by Anastasia's shrill flute playing, and Drizella's nasally voice. Cinderella washes the floor, and she receives an envelope from the mailman. Anastasia's finger gets stuck in the flute as it hits Drizella's chin. She punches Anastasia, and Lady Tremaine tells them to settle down. Cinderella enters the room, and Lady Tremaine grabs the envelope and reads it. There is to be a ball, in honor of His Highness the Prince. And by royal command, every eligible maiden is to attend. Anastasia and Drizella cheer. Cinderella tells that, that she wants to go, but Drizella says, Who would want to dance with a worn-out mare like you? Anastasia laughs and mocks Cinderella and proceeds to dance with Drizella. Cinderella meets her mice and tells them about the ball, and she gives them a book on how to make a ball gown. The mice begin making the dress. Cinderella helps Anastasia and Drizella with their laundry, as they lose their temper about being seen in old rags. Jacques and Gus, the two mice, see sashes and beads on the floor. They try to grab the sashes and beads, but Lucifer wakes up with a bloodthirsty look on his face. Jacques and Gus run to the mouse hole as Lucifer tries to chase them. And they try again, but Lucifer brutally bites at Jacques. Gus grabs a pin and pokes the cat in the rear. Lucifer runs away in pain. The mice then surprise Cinderella with the beautiful pink and white ball gown and thanks them. Lady Tremaine, Anastasia and Drizella are on their way to the carriage that is parked out in the front yard. 
Cinderella approaches with the gown and tells them that she is coming with them. Lady Tremaine notices something off about the gown. She asks Drizella, and she proceeds to get mad. Starts to rip the dress along with Anastasia. Little did they know, some of the mice were standing behind Cinderella in horror. Drizella punches Cinderella in the face as Anastasia stomps on the mouse in anger, killing it. Lucifer enters and scratches Cinderella's legs. Lady Tremaine says, That's enough. They leave, as Cinderella's dress is torn, legs bleeding and bruised up as she runs out to the yard and weeps. I then paused the film in horror. I decided to swim at the hotel's pool to calm myself down. And upon returning to my hotel room, I took a shower to detoxify the pool's chlorine. I returned to my laptop and continued watching the film. The scene where Cinderella meets the fairy godmother was similar to the 50s version, especially the scene where she dances with the prince at the royal ball and the midnight pumpkin pursuit. We cut to the king waking up from his dream about becoming a grandpa. The Grand Duke enters the room and tells him that Cinderella ran away after the dance. Now, you would expect a slapstick scene with the king and the duke, but here the king was putting his dukes up, no pun intended, like a boxer. They both bounce on the bed before getting caught in the chandelier. The king then slices the chains as they fall, and instead of the goofy holler, like in the 1950s film. It was a gut-twisting scream, like as if Louis Van Ruten, the voice of both the King and the Grand Duke, were... were actually falling to his death. The chandelier lands on the bed, and the Grand Duke has a black eye from the fall. The scene cuts back to Cinderella talking to Lady Tremaine, Anastasia, and Drizella about the ball as... She walks back to her tower. Lady Tremaine gives a creepy stare, not like in the 1950s film, but but as if she was staring at the viewer with hatred. The Grand Duke arrives at the Tremaine household as Lady Tremaine locks Cinderella in her room. She then sees Jacques and Gus on the floor and throws them out. Cinderella cries but not like fictional crying, but like as if Eileen Woods, the voice of Cinderella, was was actually crying. She then gets angry like a psychopath, finds an axe, chops the door open, and walks behind Lady Tremaine, kicking her down the stairs and injuring her. She then sees Anastasia and Drizella trying on their slippers. Cinderella walks up to Anastasia and tells her, But when you're his bride, you can sit or ride. You'll never have to walk. She cuts off Anastasia's toe. She screams so realistically to the point that it sounds like Lucille Bliss was screaming. Cinderella then walks up to Drizella, stuffing a rag in her mouth and cutting off her foot. Drizella screams as if Rhonda Williams was being stabbed in real life. Lucifer enters, but she kills him with the axe. She says to the dying cat, This is for making my life miserable. The Grand Duke shudders in fear as he puts the glass slipper on Cinderella's foot. She tells the Grand Duke that Anastasia and Drizella are invited to the wedding. The prince and Cinderella walk down the stairs to the carriage and waves as she calls to the birds to peck her stepsister's eyes out, which they do. And instead of showing Cinderella and the prince kissing, it shows the birds pecking out Anastasia and Drizella's eyes until they turn into cadavers. The words, The End, a Walt Disney production, appear. I turned off my laptop, ran into the bathroom, and vomited. I was disgusted about how Cinderella killed the Tremaines, but at least, at least she won at the end of the day. And the next day, I went back to the family's house 
talk to the woman about the 1947 version of Cinderella, but she told me that her father wanted the movie to be similar to the original novel. She played a film reel of the making of the 1947 version. Walt Disney says, Okay, we're here to screen the ending scene of Cinderella. We have James Greenfield here to give us the demo. It plays Walt Disney's actual shudders in fear. Ollie Johnston covers Frank Thomas's eyes. Ward Kimball holds Fred Moore in fear, similar to how Honest John was holding Gideon in horror when the coachman was laughing maniacally in Pinocchio. Eric Larson vomits. Mark Davis runs out of the room. And it ends then with Walt Disney getting an angry expression on his face. He says while being extremely pissed off, You're fired, James! James walks away sulking. Walt Disney apologizes and says that they will make Cinderella more family-friendly and delay the release to March 4th, 1950. The reel ends, and she tells me to destroy the film. But when I came back to my home in Cave Creek, Arizona, I destroyed the DVD with a hammer in the backyard, putting all the shards in the recycle bin. I then watched The Simpsons to calm down. I have a simple warning for you. That if you happen to find this disturbing version of Cinderella, don't watch it.